God, how awesome is that? This is perfect first time. I think I... <laughs> Hello and welcome to Pinball Reviews, I'm Luke and today we're going to look at this Gottlieb 1991 Surf and Safari machine designed by John Norris. I can't get to Special Run Lit today so I'm having to review this machine. It's actually my first pinball machine that I got myself so this is a view for my house. Obviously can't go out at the moment because we've got coronavirus so um, we're all staying in. So I thought I'd review one of these and let you have an idea of you know, some of the games I like. This was the first machine I bought about a year ago. The designer, John Norris, has done quite a few other games you might have heard of. Big Hurt, he also did Rescue 911, um, Street Fighter 2, Super Mario Brothers, Bad Girls, Robo Wars, Deadly Weapon, Keyboard Wizard, Shack Attack, and Teed Off. This machine wasn't a particularly popular machine. It was released in 1991. It was the same time, oh, Kath's trained. Uh, that's my wife I'm playing against. This is the table itself, as you can see. There's a grid in the middle with different colored shots, which relate to five main shots on the table. The uh, yellow ramp there is the um, second one in, the, which is the green palm tree. So that's the rapid shot. I've just plunged and had a bit of a bonus on the plunge and it's lit the green ramp for me. So I'm trying to go for that left one, and oh, it's drained. Never mind. <laughs> There's that grid again. You can see that little lock shot was flashing a minute ago, so I got to the top of that green palm tree. Um, Kath, as you can see, has made a little bit of progress on both the pipeline, the orange one, and the green one. She's made one shot on that. Uh, hopefully, we'll see if she makes one of these other shots. We should see those lights go from two to three. So there you go. She's got another ball in the pipeline, and that's gone up to three. If she got another two shots in that, oh, she's trained though, she would then get to the top and there's a three million mode, which lights a three million ramp for that. At the top of each of those palm trees, once you've made those shots uh, four or five times and it's fully lit, then you get a little bonus round at the end. Like I say, on the green one, it's the multi-ball. On the orange one, it's that three million target. On the spinner, it's uh, spinner as um, juice, basically. There's lots of points on it. And oh, quite pleased with that. I managed to get a few millions going around the whirlpool there. There's also then, which one is there? Oh, there's the safari target, which is the three chop drop targets underneath Rodney in the center. Our oh, little save there. And um, that lights all the main shots with some little animals. And for each shot you get a million, and then it goes up like to two million or three million. And uh, that's your sort of, you're going on safari collecting all the animals. And the next one there is the whirlpool, which uh, spins around to the right, and that gives you a possibility of getting an extra ball. Now you can see it's counting down. I've just managed to make, it's gone down to two and then one. It's flashing that three million target for me. because so I've just finished the first palm tree, the pipeline. Now, once you've finished that mode, that's not just the end of it. On this game, if you keep making that pipeline shot, it will start flashing for double. So as you can see, I've put it in there once, there's a little white flashing light underneath it. If I get it in there again, like that, you can see on the, oh no, I've missed it. On the backboard, it should give me the next letter for double. So there it goes. Now, double's a really nice thing to get in this. You can only get it on one ball because this is in competition mode. You have to get it all spelt out by making two shots for each letter, basically, in that little scoop. So I'm very close now. I'm on the L, so I'll be very pleased if I manage to do this. There we go, just one left. Now, normally this is a carryover feature. So if you're playing against other people, you might have spelt out um, you know, almost all the letters, they might just need to spell one of them and then uh, get that mode straight away. Oh, I've got a bit of a tilt warning. Trying to make that shot. Trying to focus a bit more. Here we go, here's a chance. No, didn't get it. Oh, it snuck in. There we go. So just one more to get the double. Let's see if we can do it. Boom. Get ready, Kath. It's going to go crazy. Kath can care less. She's doing her knitting. I'm quite pleased with that. I don't get double all the time. <laughs> this way, right.
<laughs> well, there you go. Just when you get it going, okay. uh, that's when it drains. Never mind. Still 22 million, so I'm getting on with the score. Cat's at almost 2 million. But once she starts climbing those farm trees and getting some points in, she'll be doing all right. So I might as well now talk about some of the things I like and some of the things I'm not so keen on this machine. I do like that really big long ramp all around the outside. That's really good fun to go for. I do like the fact that it's got three ball multi ball, which is great. It's got a fan layout. So the way the shots are sort of found across the table is very similar to things like Medieval Madness or Attack from Mars, um, which are some of the top games. It, it's not considered one of the top games at all, Surf and Safari. It's at 220 on the um, pin side ratings at the moment. So it's, it's not particularly high up, but it's not, you know, all the way at the bottom either. I think um, when this machine came out in 1991, it still had the alphanumerical display. Hey, shut off that lovely big ramp again. Ah! Oh, good save. A lot of new machines were starting to come out with DMDs, so we had Terminator 2 come out in the same year as this machine. I know the designer John Norris said it's a bit of a shame that it didn't sell as well as he thought it would do. There's only about 2,000 units of this sold originally, so there's not too many of them about really. I'm not sure how many are lasted now. It's almost, well, 30 years old, isn't it? So, not sure. But I really enjoy it. It's a nice, simple game for the grid there and the grid's really well used as well it's doing the countdown again now as you can see so countdown 18 17 and this is the mode where i've made the three targets in the middle and i'm going for each of the animals here now you can see them flashing there's white flashing shots 12 seconds left don't think i've got any of them yet <laughs> never mind um, there's a little line on the right there the red ramp the whirlpool is a monkey with sunglasses and there's an elephant for the spinner and I think there's a toucan for the rapids for the yellow ramp shot. So basically you make all those shots and that'll give you special for later on. I imagine I'll give you quite a few points as well but I'm not quite sure exactly what the special mode does and what that means. There we go. Um, well, I think I've got one of them. Never mind. Uh, I've got another mode now going. So this is um, for getting the whirlpool uh, to the top of the tree and it's counting down. There we go, seven seconds left. And you can see there's two flashing shots. There's the little red one, little amber one. And if I get both of those, I would then get an extra ball. And I already seem to have an extra ball, which is great. But mm, didn't stop me almost tilting. There we go. Here we go. Going for the extra ball now. I didn't manage to score that extra ball. As soon as you finish a mode and don't get it, then that's the end of it. Now you can see that grid's getting nice and filled up. There's only two more shots left. And that's on the spinner shot, so I'm sort of going for that. And met draining and missing, never mind. The cat's got a chance now to catch up. And of course, when it comes back around to your mode, you can see straight away looking at that grid what you need to get next. What's nice, she's got three for those three on the left there. If she got, oh, she got that one now, that's very good. If she gets the ramp on the right there, the red one, she would then get, she almost got it there she would get uh, another opportunity for multi-ball because actually the grid, not only if you go up the trees, but also if you get them across, that will get you um, bonuses and different points too. So that's something I really like about it. It's, it's a little bit more complex than you might think straight away. Um, you do get bonuses when you plunge straight away. If you plunge gently, it lands in a little scoop at the top there behind the pop bumpers and you get random things. So I've got uh, an extra multi-ball there, which was quite nice. Didn't last like that very long though. What can you do? Right, so other things I like about this game, I do really like Rodney the Talking Crocodile. Oh, I've drained, never mind. <laughs> you can see him there just at the top, uh, just beneath the whirlpool. Cat's on her last ball now, it's five balls this one, because there's no ball save. Uh, it's more of an older design. Um, there's a great use of that grid um, without the DMD. It, it does a fantastic job of working without it. It would be nice if it had a DMD. That's one thing I've said I'm not so keen on about this. It'd be nice to see some animations of Rodney and maybe some people surfing the park. Because it's a really odd theme. There's basically, you know, safari animals in a water park. And I'll show some pictures of the back glass in a bit. And you'll see it's, it doesn't quite make sense, but it is fun. And the game to play, it, it's always gets me hopping and jumping about and really enjoying it. So, you know, I can't complain. Um, any other things I dislike about it? Well, the whirlpool can crack. They're quite expensive to replace. So, so you can sort of glue it, I suppose, to try and get away with that. Um, there's no ball save, but you do get five balls. So that's not so bad. Um, the spinner at the back isn't used a great deal. The, the shot is basically you keep hitting it and then you hit it again. So that's a bit of a basic mode, but to be honest, it's a bit of a dangerous shot anyway. Sometimes it can come out of those pop bumpers and go straight down the middle, so 
Uh, I don't mind not having to hit that shot too often. Other things I'm not so keen on. I don't know. I mean, I suppose the design is a little bit odd. It's called Surf and Safari, but there's no surfers on it anywhere. But never mind. Rodney's really cool. He's a crocodile, apparently, but he looks like some sort of dinosaur. That's it. That's the end of the game. Really enjoyable game. Get the chance to play one. Do you get on it? They're great, great fun. Let's <laughs> go.